Hey guys, it's Clara. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video that is really different from the videos I typically do. So this video will be first of several getting to know you type of videos. I've been thinking about lately of doing more get to know you type of videos. I've had people send messages and comments on Facebook asking personal questions. Some of those questions I don't feel comfortable answering just yet. But as I'm getting more comfortable on YouTube, I've decided to share a little bit more about me. So this video is part of a collaboration started by Sherry of Live Love Latte. It is in celebration of the Philippines Independence Day, which is June 12th. Sherry has kindly written out a few questions to kind of help guide the video a little bit. And the first few questions have to do with what my background is and if I speak the language. If you're not familiar with the Philippines, they are a group of islands that are located in Southeast Asia. And it's kind of considered by some people to be the melting pot of Asia because you will see a mix of all sorts of cultures and heritages. As is true with some other countries in the world, the Philippines, when you look at the people, um, even you, their skin color varies quite a lot. The country was colonized by Spain, which is where the name of the Philippines comes from, from King Philip of Spain. So you have some Spanish blood in there, and so you have people that have very fair skin, all the way to people who have very dark skin as well. And it's primarily a Christian country, Catholic for the most part. As far as my personal background, I was born in the United States. My parents grew up in the Philippines and they came here uh, as adults when there was a nursing shortage. Nurses are kind of considered almost like um, another kind of export from the Philippines. Same goes for India as well. So it's not uncommon to see a lot of Filipino nurses. So I am actually nearly 100% Filipino. We think that on my mother's side, there might be some Italian, maybe also some Chinese. We're not exactly sure. The Philippines is a very beautiful country. There are some wonderful vacation spots there. Um, we've been to a place called Tagaytay, which has uh, a whole bunch of islands there. There is a place called Villa Escudero, which has some religious artifacts, and they have a waterfall, and you actually eat right next to the waterfall. It is so delicious and so much fun. If you are from an American military family, there are a lot of sites to be seen as far as memorials that were built in honor of American soldiers who have died there. Now, as far as speaking the language of the Philippines, which is called Tagalog, I do not. I am able to understand some of the language, and when I have traveled there before, I'm usually able to pick up things pretty quickly after about a week. My parents were so concerned that I would not be able to learn English that they really didn't speak to me in Tagalog very much, which I do regret. I, I kind of wish that they had actually spoken to me. You know, studies show that children do just fine growing up in bilingual households, um, and they actually do a lot better with language development later on. So back in high school, I had done uh, a lot of, lot of research on the Philippines. From what I can remember, the language of the Philippines is Tagalog, yes, but it was acknowledged to be Filipino officially by the Filipino government, unless stuff has changed in the last 10 years. One of the questions that Sherry has written has to do with unique facts about the Philippines. And one thing that I find interesting about the Philippines is that I feel like when I go there or when I speak to relatives that still live Live there that uh, a lot of people in the Philippines, although they enjoy their culture very much, a lot of them really do like Americans. Now that can vary of course from person to person, but I feel like I see a lot more people there singing a lot of American songs, wearing American clothing, uh, having t-shirts that say American things. Uh, when they receive gifts from the United States that have uh, university information or uh, sports teams or whatever. Those are really very cherished gifts. That might also have to do with the fact that the country is a third world country. I, I do recommend if you've never traveled to a third world country before to do so uh, because it really changes your life. Traveling to a country like that really, really, I feel like opens your eyes. 
um, to what people can suffer through and still be happy with. And that's not to say that there's not problems in the United States also and that we don't have a huge population of people suffering here. There is quite a class divide in the Philippines and there's a whole history about that, about um, the aristocracy. There wasn't a huge middle class for the longest time. So you will see these huge, beautiful Spanish style homes that are gated in with security guards and all that. And then right outside these beautiful, gorgeous homes, you will see shacks where children barely wearing any clothing are living. Another unique thing about the Philippines, in relation to other Asian countries, I feel like the Philippines has a fairly good relationship with the United States. That might have to do especially with where the Philippines is located. As you can probably imagine back in World War I, World War II, uh, and so forth, the location of the Philippines was extremely important as far as military strategy. You know, it was very close to Korea and Japan. Another question is what I love most about the Philippines, and I would have to say it's how welcoming the country is. Another question is how do I plan to keep Filipino culture alive with my uh, child. Well, I've started to talk to her a little bit about the Philippines. She's only three, but every time my parents go to the Philippines, I ask them to bring back children's books in Tagalog and Tagalog English. A lot of sharing of Filipino culture with my child will have to do with food, which will be an interesting thing because she uh, does not eat like a typical child would. Another way would be via the holidays. Holidays are huge. The Philippines, for the most part, can be a very religious country. Another question is, what is one good thing in the Filipino culture that would help benefit the world? And I would have to say, one thing I would really admire is its value of family. And that is pretty much all family. And I'm talking about second degree, third degree. So it's not uncommon that at weddings, you will see weddings that are, that have 300 guests or 400 guests. Uh, I know that seems like a lot. You're really marrying into the entire family. <laughs> and I feel like your sense of family and faith, especially, can be really strong. And I, again, I know this can vary between different families. I feel like when it comes to spirituality and prayer, that is something that was very, very strong in my Filipino family. And it's kind of a way that I've seen my parents bond with other Filipinos. So prayer is another way that I feel like that shares the Filipino culture with my child. And as far as benefiting the world, no matter what your background is or, or your religious beliefs, that sense of family and spirituality could really help the world and make people feel less alone, make people feel like there really is a community. And by doing so that because we are all in this one community, we really all have to take care of each other and respect each other, which is a principle that I feel is important in every country. What does it mean to you as a Filipina to have the audience you have on YouTube? Honestly, I feel extremely fortunate and lucky to be doing YouTube at all. People who have subscribed to my channel, the people who have viewed and commented have been so amazingly supportive. I kind of feel like because we're all bonded with similar interests that culture doesn't really come into play in a big way, but who knows? I mean, YouTube can reach all sorts of audiences. Perhaps you live in a town where you don't see a lot of Asian people. And the last question is, what is a Filipino dish that you like? So one dish that I make regularly, especially for my non-Filipino friends, especially my husband, so this is actually one of his favorite dishes, is called chicken adobo. Now this could be made with chicken or pork or other kinds of meat, but usually it's made with chicken or pork. It is an extremely simple recipe. It only has just a few ingredients. It has garlic, chicken, olive oil to cook the garlic, soy sauce, vinegar, and some black pepper.
is it for this video. If you have been to the Philippines or if you know anything about the Filipino culture or perhaps if you're Filipino yourself, if you'd like to share your experience, please do comment below. If you are familiar with Filipino food and you have a favorite dish, I would love to hear what that is. And as far as my regular subscribers or any new viewers or subscribers, please do let me know if there are any other getting to know you type of videos you would like me to do. Thank you so much for watching guys and take care.